Given that we've been talking about shadows, and in particular the box shadow in the last video, I'm going to show you another new CSS3 feature called Text Shadow. As you might imagine, just as any box can be given a drop shadow, so too can any piece of text. So let me show you what I mean. If we wish to implement some text shadow, and I'm just jumping back on over to our work in our style sheet, I'm going to move on up to the header H1. So if you remember, we do have a heading in the H1. And what I want to be doing with it, actually I'm going to copy the box shadow information, including our Safari little bit right there. And what I want to do is to come in here where the header H1 is, and I'm going to paste that information right in there but instead of box shadow let's put in text shadow and as you might imagine the exact same information will work for your text shadow as with your box shadow now you'll notice here that the same declaration horizontal shadow vertical shadow blur amount and color is all going to be exactly what we need it to so in this case however I'm just going to come in here and put a value of 2, 2, and well let's say 2 as well just so that you can see it a little bit better and you can kinda see what's happening. Now do remember we we have a very grayish shadow here you can make that whatever color you want. It doesn't have to be gray. It could be red for all you care. So I'm going to save that and let's go back to our work and check that out. Look at that. We made it come off by 2 and it's looking just the way it is here. Now that's just fine and dandy. You can leave that in there and there's really no problem with it. It's great to use. You can even do some fun things, although I will change this, but let's imagine we wanted our shadow to be, uh, or our text to be all white. So I'll put in six F's in here. And if I save that and preview this again, check that out. You can have like a same colored background. Actually, since my background is not white, I'd probably make it the same color as the background here. Now, here's the only problem, number one, with doing something with white on white with a drop shadow. And it works great if the drop shadow is there. But the only problem with our text shadow declaration, I'm going to change that back to normal right now and save it. The only problem with it is the simple fact that it will not work in Internet Explorer. So that means even if you're working with the latest version of Internet Explorer, uh, Internet Explorer 9, which is much more friendly to CSS3 and HTML5 elements, it still does not sh support the text shadow. So I would not put white text on a white background with a shadow until Internet Explorer can uh, support it. And the reason being is because, well, you know, if I switch on over and we look at our work back the way it was just a second ago, this still shows our shadow, and the only difference is is that in Internet Explorer, well, there is no shadow. It'll just look the way it did just a second ago. And one of the other things that you should keep in mind is that the blur effect that's here, again, could be set to zero. And if I do that, I just want to show it to you to see what it looks like. And then we preview this in our browser. Take a look. It's just not a blurry shadow. It's still a shadow there. It's just not blurry. But we've offset it on the horizontal and vertical by about two pixels. So that's how you work with drop shadow in text. So text shadow, another great new feature inside of CSS3.